Jackie with Athlete's Potential, and today I'm going over the goblet box squat. So a goblet squat is when you hold a weight, usually a kettlebell, at your chest and do a squat. It gives you a nice counterbalance, so you can kind of stay upright more in the bottom of the, in the, bottom of the squat. And it can also challenge your squat, so work as a strengthening exercise. Today we're going to use a box for a few different reasons I'll go over. Um, but all you need for this is a kettlebell, appropriate weight for you depending on where you are, and a box. So my box is to about parallel squat depth. Also, it could be depending on what you're working on. You might go a little below parallel or above. All right, so we'll start first with just the regular goblet squat to a box. So we're holding a kettlebell at my chest. Elbows nice and tight in. We don't want it to get too far from our body. That's gonna be hard, okay? So it's just resting on my breastbone here. You're gonna find the corner of the box. Your feet will be wider than your normal squat. So I'm gonna go a little bit wider, not completely sumo style, but wider than usual. All right, from here, you're gonna send your hips back to the wall behind you, like so, until you feel hamstring tightness, and then you're gonna bend your knees, get to the box, and back up. All right, so I'll do a few more of those. So nice hip hinge here, bending our knees, back to the box, and up. So notice a few things. When I hip hinge, I'm not overextending, okay? So the hinge is coming from my hips only, not my low back or like my ribs poking out. Also, when I get to the box, I don't relax and then stand up, okay? It's just really just touch so you know you're there and you're coming back up, all right? Another variation you may give is a tempo goblet squat. So this is for someone who's working on motor control. So from here, I'll give you a three second count down. So nice hip hinge, one, two, three. I'm just to the box, just hovering and then back up. So again, one, two, three, back up. This is great for the posterior chain strength and motor control throughout your squat pattern, so go ahead and give it a try.